I know, right? It's been a while. It's been a well, not actually. It hasn't been a while. I, I went to see the Batman movie. What was that? Like maybe two weeks ago. But I really desperately wanted to see a movie tonight. And uh, strange enough, I've never heard of this movie. Uh, it's called X. Has have anybody out there ever heard of this movie? Because I never have. Uh, to be honest with you, I just wanted to, I wanted to go out. I wanted to see a movie. That's what led me here today. Uh, I went on to the uh, cinema uh, uh, webpage, and I saw, uh, you know, all the movies that I've already seen. And then I came up with this one. It looks like a smaller budget movie. Um, maybe, like, sort of on the independent side. Um, and it's about these kids that are uh, filming a porn on some property and gets caught doing it. It's framed as a horror movie. Uh, uh, the description and the poster look horror-ish. So, uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I just desperately wanted to see a movie tonight. So, this... I kind of like doing this. S seeing a movie with, uh, without any expectations or any knowledge of this movie whatsoever, I'm going to go in and I'm going to watch this movie. All right. So X is the movie that we're watching tonight. Hey, just, just a few seconds away and I will be right back to let you know what I think about X. All right. So see you guys in just a few seconds. Bye. Well, guys, this, this review is not going to be long. Uh, this movie uh, took uh, uh, place in a span of about 24 hours, if, I'm, if I actually watched the story correctly. Uh, okay, here's the thing. Um, i got a couple things running in my own head, so uh, we're going to do it in order here. Uh, there's a s small moment in the very beginning of the movie where so one of the girls uh, decides to skinny dip uh, in the local lake. Um, and unbeknownst to her, uh, there is uh, either a crocodile or uh, an alligator. W w I don't know. I don't know the difference between them. But she is in the middle of the lake, swimming towards a dock, and n unknowingly uh, is being tailed by this alligator uh, forward slash crocodile. Um, and it, it's like the laziest, slowest chasing <laughs> you'd ever want to see. But it just adds to that that uh, that um, suspense. Um, it it you know you're kind of on the edge of your seat, waiting to see if she makes it to the dock or not. And that is a perfect example of how this film was managed throughout the whole film. It were given small, very slow, very dark, very uh, quiet moments to to add to the suspense of this movie. Um, yeah, it was, <sighs> alright, so let's boil it down to its bare es uh, essence, and it's basically, like I said, it's a Cabin in the Woods story, and the antagonists, who I keep on alluding to and never tell you, are the two elderly couple that live in the, the manor, the, the main house, um, and it just, it, <laughs> it didn't work for me, it didn't work for me in that, in that respect. Uh, they, they were not that intimidating to me. They were super creepy, the, especially the wife. The wife was super creepy, and uh, they were given very, really, um, uh, it, they, they were given moments that really did work uh, it, it, as far as a horror film goes. Uh, I just can't buy these old, ashen-faced, elderly people killing six different people. I just, it didn't make sense to me <laughs> in any of these horror movies that ever come out, uh, that, that particular variant of that plot never made sense to me. <laughs> and it was, it just looked kind of goofy, uh, when it wasn't looking creepy. <laughs> it, do you guys remember a movie? There was a movie called The Visit. That's what this reminds me of. Uh, in that movie, you had a bunch of elderly people kind of terrorizing your two young uh, 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 protagonists in the movie. Um, in this movie, you have ashen-faced elderly people causing terror for these poor uh, uh, people. Yeah, uh, this movie was, it was okay. It was okay. Um, I would totally give it a 75%. Uh, the directing was excellent. 
the acting was actually pretty good too. I, I there were a couple of the characters I really did enjoy. Um, the premise it was where it broke down and where it kind of started not working. Uh, again, uh, the antagonist just didn't do it for me. Seventy-five percent. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> I've talked myself into it. That's what I'm going to give this movie. Is a seventy-five percent. It was totally worth time. Take taking your time to watch it if you're at your house watching it. Uh, you know, with your girlfriend or your wife or your boyfriend or whatever. Um, it is totally worth your time to, to watch it as long as you're not going out to the theater. If you go out to the theater, you're kind of wasting your money and your time and your, you know, your, your precious time that you don't have time to waste. Uh, and that's what, that's what I'm doing. I, I'm wasting my time so that you don't have to waste yours. There you go. Uh, 75% is the best I'm going to give this movie. Uh, hey, there's a bunch of movies coming out. I, you know, and, and there's a, just a few of them that I actually want to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I promised that I would go see uh, Sonic 2. I did a review for it. I uh, went with my one of my good friends, Doom, uh, and his wife, uh, Kayla, and I'm probably going to do that again. Uh, that's coming up. I saw the poster in there. It is uh, April 8th. So, what, three weeks away? Two weeks away? Something to that effect. April is coming up, and that means that the drive-in theater is opening up, so you'll see me there as well. Um... But I'm done wasting your guys' time. 75% 4X is the best that that movie is going to get. Um, guys, that's it. I had a fun time talking to you. I hope you had a fun time listening to me. And uh, leave a comment down below. But other than that, I am out of here. As always, peace. Montanay. I will talk to you guys later. And goodbye.